Welcome, my friends, my fam, my fellow fans of Clash of Clans. It's your host, Galadon, and the Clan Capital Update is live in Clash of Clans. Today, I'm going to do my best to answer every question that you guys have, and there's a lot of good ones. There's a lot of information in today's episode, and yes, I was back and forth communicating with the Clash of Clans team in Helsinki to try to get all of the answers. There are going to be a few details that have yet to be worked out, but let's get down to it and go further in depth than any other content creator has. Okay, so, and if you appreciate that, please do take a moment, consider subscribing to the channel, maybe even turning on notifications, and of course, now is a great time to use a creator code. And while I say any creator code is awesome, my personal favorite is code Galadon. Remember, it only lasts for seven days, but does so much to help bring the videos to you guys, the live streams, the gem to max. And uh, we'll get to that in just a moment as well. And for those of you that are wondering, does Peter17 dollars have a creator code? Yes, he does. I'll put it on the screen right here. Okay, so let's get into the questions. And first things first, I have an important correction to yesterday's episode, I think I might have mentioned incorrectly that you can use Otto from the Builder Hall as one of the builders in the Forge. No, you can use the sixth builder as a builder in the Forge, but Otto always stays over there on the Builder Hall side, although that is a great idea. I love that idea, and I am definitely forwarding that to the Clash team. Other really critical and commonly asked questions had to do with the Gold Pass and Builder Potions. Yes. They will both reduce the cost and time in the forge only. They won't change any of the costs over there on the clan capital, but they will help you out in producing capital gold more quickly and more cheaply through the forge. And yes, speaking of upgrading, I will also give you guys a breakdown video of what's upgrade first over here in the clan capital side. But for now, know that you need to get your capital hall to level two in order to be able to participate at all in the raid weekends. Now, there were a lot of questions about what if I move clans? Does the gold carry with me? Do the upgrades carry with me? And I think I can kind of summarize this in, okay, here's how it works. Your capital gold and your reputation stays with you. All of the upgrades to the capital hall and all of the districts stay with the clan. So if you leave, that stays there. It doesn't belong to you. Only your reputation and your gold carries over with you. Yes, multiple players can attack different districts at the same time, but only one player may attack each district at any given moment. The rest of you have to just watch and wait your turn. In regards to the questions about which Town Hall is the best for this whole update, obviously Town Hall 14 unlocks the most Forge slots, and anybody that's got free builders and extra resources is going to be able to help out significantly, but again, the amounts are higher for those Town Hall 14 players. And just so you guys know, this update isn't all rainbows and moonbeams for me either. I'll get to the real opinion, unfiltered, and it's not completely positive about this update at about towards the end of today's video. St stick around for that one. Will there be a capital gold rune in the future? I don't see that happening. It's just, it's too difficult to get capital gold. So I doubt they can give you a rune that would give you 25,000 at once. Having inactive clan members in your clan doesn't put you at a disadvantage, but if you were to lose a bunch of members, that could be tough because if you upgrade a lot and then go to a raid weekend with fewer clan members than were there to help you upgrade, you could be facing more difficult districts, better upgraded defenses, and you won't get through as many raids or districts as you otherwise would. You cannot donate to yourself yet. We need to wait until you've earned raid medals. But once you have those in your hot little hands, then you click on the clan banner right there to the right of the trader, and you can fill your clan castle to your heart's content. And speaking of when will this all start? Well, if you happen to take a look in-game right now, like I did, and I screenshotted the upcoming events tab raid weekend, this was taken midday on Monday Pacific time. It is going to be starting this raid weekend, and only this raid weekend for sure, starting on 10 a.m. Friday Helsinki time, which is GMT plus three, and then ending at 10 a.m. Monday Helsinki time. That is the confirmed time for this weekend's raid, not necessarily a permanent schedule, but it might be, we'll have to see. Also seeing a lot of questions and concerns about, does this mean that the team is going to stop upgrading the home village? Are we never going to see Town Hall 15 now? No, of course we will. The home village will continue to get 
big updates just like we've seen in the past. This just kind of delayed things. I know, yes, a lot of people were disappointed we didn't get any home village content, and I am among those people disappointed. The tall grass in the builder base is glitched right now. That is an unintended bug and it is going to be fixed. I confirmed that with the Clash of Clans team. And yes, just like there will be more home village content, it does appear there are plenty of spaces on the capital side for there to be future districts to be unlocked. And speaking of unlocking districts and gemming to max, uh, let's just wait for another episode later on this week to get into exactly how far we're gonna go with gems, right? Okay, you cannot get any capital gold from raiding in the home village. There are currently four ways to get capital gold. Raiding on raid weekends, picking it up through the forge, getting it through special events, and getting it through the gold pass. There may be others in the future, but that is it for now. And how about this? It's true, you only need one member in order to participate in raid weekends. The key is you have to have at least a capital hall level two but other than that, there is no minimum. You could do it literally with one person, and I will try it with the Just Galadon clan in the future. Yes, clan wars or CWL can overlap with clan raids. You're going to be busy, but it's not like it's 84 different raids to do. It's just a couple extra raids. And then, yes, the gate that you see in those walls is a gate that defensive troops can use, but offensive troops must still treat it just like a wall. It's just kind of a cool little visual effect. There are currently no rewards in the game for having a higher reputation, so it's as useless as Legendly trophies, but you never know, maybe there will be something out there in the future. For now, it's just a way for your clan to see if you're helping out. And anybody can check by going to the clan screen, clicking on the clan capital tab, and there you can see reputation level and how much gold every single member has contributed. Right now, only co-leaders and leaders can rearrange the base. Everybody gets to upgrade, everybody gets to post friendly challenges and attack, but only co's and leaders can change the defensive layouts. There is no way to share links or directly copy another district or clan capital layout. And I've, I heard a couple of people talk about an attack tutorial. I didn't see one on any of my accounts, so I'm not sure if that's a rumor or what. Uh, maybe it was something that disappeared. I really have no idea. And remember, you don't unlock barracks until you have unlocked the Barbarian Camp District. The clan capital itself doesn't have any troops. That's why you need to get to level two in order to participate in raids. Here we go, gem rewards for clan capital achievements. I had a few people ask about this. I booted up the developer build again, and lo and behold, here you go. Aggressive capitalism, level one, loot 20,000 capital gold and get 50 gems as your reward. Level two, 250,000 capital gold for 100 gems. And finally, level three, 1 million gold for 250 gems. Most valuable clan mate. 75 gems once you've contributed 400,000 capital gold, 150 gems for contributing 500,000 capital gold, and finally 500 gems for contributing 2 million capital gold to upgrades in the clan capital. And that can be any clan. If you move throughout clans, it will carry over. And there are a couple of unanswered questions that I still don't know, and that is one, exactly how much gold do you get for destroying buildings and that sort of thing? I don't know the exact calculations. And also, what's the limitation to the number of players that can contribute to a clan's capital? I don't know that either. As far as like rotating players through, I have no idea, but I'll let you know as soon as I know. Okay, now I will be completely honest with you guys, and that is that I experienced the same thing that many of you did when you logged into this update today, and that was about five minutes of fun gameplay, and then there was n nothing else to do. I mean, let's be honest, right? You can't do any of these raids like you're watching on the screen. You put your forge builders to work if you have them free, and oh, watch the skeleton explosion. Yep, did you see that on the bridge? That was pretty cool. But anyway, yeah, I'm a little bit disappointed. I thought there would be more excitement, more to do. There's really not unless you spend a massive amount of gems. And even then, are you gonna have free builders? I'm not using all my builders on my free to play account to forge gold. No way, man, I'm gonna continue to upgrade the home village. That is always going to be my priority. And uh, that's just the way it is, you know? Clans should be building together but there's only so much we can do. I, it's, it's, a, it's a weird feeling. I'm admitting to you guys that I was a little bit let down. I wanna get in and start attacking and raiding and you just can't. There's just not a ton of gameplay from this update. So I can definitely see how that's going to let some players down. Now, the rest of these comments are kind of the troll salty comments 
that I reply to from time to time. I did also want to say, however, thank you guys so much for noticing that the Resorkler seems a lot like the Forge. Also, just those of you maybe that noticed that I dropped a video at 4 a.m. my time when the update maintenance started. I mean, I stayed up until 4 a.m. to get that video out for you guys. And just the people that notice those little things or maybe notice how much extra effort went into all of these episodes over the past week, I really appreciate you guys. This is definitely my favorite time of year of clashing when we have an update and I get to share all of this information with you and we get to explore the game like it's a brand new game. And well, it kind of is sort of here playing the clan capital. And that is also why I love the live streams with you guys. And I hope that you're going to get a chance to stop by. I stream every night at 6.30 p.m. Pacific, except for Saturdays at fb.gg slash real Galadon Gaming. You can ask any unanswered questions either in the live streams or down here in the comments and I'll try to get to them in a future video. Galafan, thank you for sticking around all the way to the end of the episode. You know you're the true hashtag Galafan. That's why I love thinking about it. Appreciate it. every single one of you every single day. So get out there, make the best of the rest of your day, week, month, and year. Be kind to other people, animals, and the planet. I'll see you back here again tomorrow for more attacks. A one-man clan, I think I'll start one and make my capital the best ever. Peter $17 capital.